So hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for joining the Cybersecurity Awareness Month webinar series. My name is Jay Covington. I am the Awareness and Outreach Section Chief for the Stakeholder Engagement Division at the Department of Homeland Security's Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, and I'll be your host. So this year, October 2023, it marks the 20th anniversary of our Cybersecurity Awareness Month. So since 2004, the President and Congress have declared the month of October as Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Now, this is a month dedicated to the public and private sectors working together to raise awareness about the importance of cybersecurity. CISA and our partners, the National Cybersecurity Alliance, are once again partnering this year to expand cybersecurity awareness on a national and even global scale. We seek to educate individuals and organizations about potential cyber threats, and we want to encourage the adoption of best practices for digital and online safety. Now, this year's overarching theme, Secure Our World, calls for all of us to action uh, to adopt improved and ongoing cyber hygiene. By committing to a few safe online behaviors, we can easily minimize or even prevent cyber criminals and hackers from infiltrating our devices and online accounts. Now, the goal of this year's campaign is for all of us to implement four meaningful key behaviors to secure our world. Those behaviors are one, use strong passwords. Two, enable multi-factor authentication. Three, recognize and report phishing. And four, update your software. Now, each week this October, we're taking a deeper dive into these four actions and understanding why implementing them is so vital. Today, we're gonna to be discussing how to recognize and report phishing. So it's my pleasure today to introduce our speaker, uh, subject matter expert on phishing, Ashley Jones. Now, Ashley is a cybersecurity advisor for the Department of Homeland Security's Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. She's responsible for proactively engaging with members of the private and public sectors to ensure the nation's critical infrastructure is resilient and protected from cyber attacks. In her career, she served as an information system security manager, as well as a subject matter expert on various cybersecurity topics related to risk management, vulnerability management, assessments and authorizations, as well as cyber policy. Now, Ms. Jones currently holds a Bachelor's of Science in Electrical Engineering and a Master of Science in Management Information Systems with a concentration in cybersecurity and information assurance. Now, Ashley is a huge asset here at CISA, and I look forward to learning about phishing from her today. So with that, I'm going to hand it off to you, Ashley. Thank you for that lovely introduction, Jay. As Jake stated, my name is Ashley Jones, and I will be speaking with you about how to recognize and report phishing. Today, we gather here to raise awareness about a growing menace in this digital world, phishing attempts. As we celebrate CISA's 20th Cybersecurity Awareness Month, we hope to shed more light on this deceptive tactic and empower individuals to utilize the power of reporting to combat it. In the realm of cybersecurity, shooting yourself from phishing attempts is one of the utmost importance. It is crucial to help everyone understand the significance of recognizing and reporting phishing and how we can safeguard our digital lives. Today, I will cover what is phishing? Why is recognizing phishing important? How to recognize phishing? How to report phishing? Next slide, please. So what is phishing? So you, so have you ever seen a link that looks a little off? It looks like something you've seen before, but it says you need to change or enter a password, or maybe it asks you to verify personal information. It could be a text message or even a phone call. They may pretend to be your email service, your boss, your bank, a friend. The message may claim it needs your information because you've been a victim of cybercrime. It's likely a phishing scheme. Phishing is a deceptive form of social engineering that uses email or malicious websites to solicit personal information or to get you to download malicious software by posing as a trustworthy entity. When users respond with the requested information, attackers can gain access to their account. Cyber criminals attempt to lure users to click on a link or open an attachment that infects their computer or mobile phone and makes the user vulnerable to an attack. Phishing enables cyber criminals to collect your information 
to make unauthorized purchases or gain access to a secure system. Attackers also exploit vulnerabilities by using a variety of phishing attacks to compromise the security of networks and devices. Phishing attacks may also appear to come from other types of organizations, such as charities. Attackers often take advantage of current events in certain times of the year, such as natural disasters, epidemics and health scares, economic concerns, major political elections, and holidays. There are also multiple types of phishing. Spear phishing, phishing targeted at an individual by including key information about them. Whaling, phishing targeted at a high profile individual to steal sensitive and high value information. Phishing, phishing via a voice communication to entice the victim to engage in conversation and build trust. Smishing, phishing via text messages to get the victim to click on a link or download files and applications or begin a conversation. Next slide, please. So why is phishing important? People are the most common entry points for phishers, not technology. Unfortunately, phishing is one of the most common forms of cyber scams that you are likely to experience. Data does show that 91% of breaches started with a phishing email. Recognizing phishing attempts is the first line of defense to protect ourselves and our organizations. Awareness is key, and we must be vigilant in identifying these subtle tactics fast as legitimate communication. By uniting against phishing attempts, we can stymie the perpetrators, dismantle their networks, and create a safer digital landscape for all. Next slide, please. So let's discuss some best practices when trying to recognize and guard yourself from phishing attempts. You should never trust a sender immediately. You should always check the sender's email address to make sure that it is authentic. Data breaches can occur even without a cyber criminal hacking into an organization's infrastructure. Many data breaches can be traced back to one single security vulnerability, phishing attempt, or instance of an accidental exposure. Be wary of unusual sources. Do not click on unknown links. Do not send your personal information. And delete any suspicious messages after reporting or forwarding to a supervisor so that any necessary organizational updates, alerts, or changes can be put into place. Play hard to get with strangers. Links in emails, texts, and online posts are often the way cyber criminals compromise your device. If you are unsure, do not respond and do not click on any links or attachments. Just delete it. Be cautious. Generic greetings as these are often efficient attempts. If you question the message, call the company directly. Think before you act. Be wary of messages that implore you to act immediately causing you to fear your account is in jeopardy. If you receive a suspicious message that appears to be from someone you know, reach out to the person directly on a secure platform. If a message is from an organization but still looks fishy, reach out to the organization to verify that the message is legitimate. Check hyperlinks. Fishers often use disguised links that take you to fraudulent websites. Remember, they thrive on deception, so scrutinize the URL carefully. And be cautious of any inconsistencies. Avoid clicking on hyperlinks and messages and hover over links to verify authenticity. Ensure that web page URLs begin with HTTPS. The S indicates encryption and is able to, and able to protect users' information. Be aware of urgency and fear tactics. Fishers exploit our emotions by creating a sense of urgency or fear. They want us to act before thinking, confront such messages with skepticism, take a step back, Evaluate the situation and consult trusted sources before succumbing to impulsive actions that may compromise your security. Keep your personal information to yourself. If people have key details from your life, like your job title, full name, birth date, and more, they can attempt a direct spear phishing attack on you. Criminals can also use social engineering with these details to try to manipulate you to, into skipping setting up normal security protocols. In a social engineering attack, an attacker uses human interaction to obtain or compromise information about an organization or its computer system. And be alert for suspicious emails. If you receive an email from a known vendor that seems a little bit suspicious, encouraging you to click on a link to your account, do not click on that link or call the number in the email. 
instead log directly into your account to verify if there are any issues with your account or call the company using the number listed on their website. Next slide, please. So you may ask, how do I report phishing? First and foremost, do not interact with phishing attempts. Resist, report, and delete. Once again, that's resist, report, and delete it. Responding or clicking on suspicious links may escalate the situation or compromise your safety further. Once you have recognized a potential phishing attempt, reporting it promptly is paramount. By reporting, we can contribute to the collective effort of safeguarding ourselves and our community from cyber threat. If you suspect you have been the victim of a phishing attempt, you can notify your IT department or report the incident to your organization's design cybersecurity team. They possess the expertise and resources to investigate and take, inappropriate, take an appropriate action. If the phishing attempt extends beyond your organization, report it to the relevant law enforcement agencies or cybercrime unit. By doing so, you contribute to a safer digital environment for everyone. As CISA, we offer, we offer numerous tools, resources, and services to help identify and protect against cyber attack, including our reporting system, which provides a secure web enabled means of reporting computer security incidents to us. Next slide, please. Phishing emails, texts, and calls are the number one way data gets compromised. Phishing lurks as a silent predator seeking to exploit or trust and steal our sensitive information. It targets individuals, organizations, and even governments, leaving a trail of havoc and devastation in its wake. Is it a threat that knows no boundaries, crossing borders, and infiltrating our lives? Fishing's effectiveness lies in the fact that it preys on our vulnerability and thrives on our inaction. However, it is up to us to stand united, fortified with awareness and knowledge to ensure our safety in the digital realm. Recognizing a phishing attempt is the first crucial step towards protecting ourselves. By being able, by being vigilant and paying attention to telltale signs such as suspicious URLs, grammatical errors, or requests for personal information, we can shield ourselves against these scams. Remember, the great Maya Angelou once said, when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Awareness alone is not enough. Reporting phishing, attempt, uh, reporting phishing attempts is a vital action that we must take to break the cycle of victimization. In our interconnected, interconnected world, the power of reporting cannot be overstated. It carries the potential to save individuals from financial ruin, protect organizations from data breaches, and safeguard the integrity of our digital ecosystem. Today and in the future, let's rise up against the clandestine threat of phishing attempts by trusting our guts and embracing the culture of reporting. Together, we are impenetrable, uh, impenetrable force harnessing the power of knowledge to protect ourselves, our organizations, and our society. Let's work as a digital guardians to secure our world. These are my final thoughts, but I would be happy to answer any questions you all may have. Back to you, Jay. Hey, Ashley, thank you so much. You know, such an important topic, such a dangerous uh, methodology today. Um, you know, I know everybody on here really appreciates the information that you just covered. It was both informative and incredibly insightful. So, yes, next, I'd love to get your perspective on a few intriguing questions that we've received. The first question, what are the current trends or evolving techniques in phishing attacks that cybersecurity professionals should be aware of? Well, AI has made it harder for artificial intelligence, for those who may not know. AI has made it harder to spot phishing attempts. When there are numer numeral, numerous grammatical errors, um, it's often easy to spot a phishing attempt, but we are no longer seeing that. Now the tone of the phishing attempts are changing. It's no longer urgent, it's friendly. It seems like it's coming from a family member or a friend. So we no longer suspect that these are phishing attempts. Cyber criminals are now also getting more sophisticated and they're going way beyond emails. They're now focusing more on text messages and social media. It's an easier avenue and it's and they can do more mass um, reporting or mass usage to get more victims. That's so scary. Thank you. Um, how can organizations effectively educate their employees about the risks and consequences of falling victim to phishing scams? 
So I will say employee education is key to help you prevent and spot phishing attacks. Organizations should focus on simulated phishing campaign. And as, a, as well as making sure employees know how to spot them and when to report them and to whom. If, you're, if you have an educated workforce, phishing may not be totally eradicated, but it can help spot it and help secure your organization, organization more. Excellent. Number three. So what are some proactive measures that organizations can take to prevent phishing attacks and enhance their overall cybersecurity posture? There are a number of steps organizations can take to prevent phishing attacks and enhance their overall security posture. One would be organizations should be doing regular backups of their data. They should make sure these data backups are encrypted and preferably stored offsite if possible. And they should also test those backups at a interval of time to make sure that they're working properly. They should also identify any possible threats and gaps within the organization, whether that be one person doing the job of several people, whether that be um, not having processes in place or change management procedures in place, or whether that may not be people not understanding their incident response plan. There are various actions that can be taken. Organizations have to decide what works best for them though. That's great. Okay. And and hopefully after today's webinar, it's a call to action and it's it, it we really start to implement these things. The fourth and final question. Uh, in the event of a successful phishing attack, what are the recommended incident response steps that organizations should follow to minimize the impact and prevent further compromise? So the first step should say, have we had is this a legitimate attack? Is it a phishing attack? Has it occurred? Once we know for certain that it's a phishing attack, it should be reported. And then there should be an incident response plan in place, so that should be followed to a T. Employees should know what their roles are in the incident response plan, and they should act accordingly, whether that be to report the incident, whether that be to notify management, whether that be to jump in and act. Uh, they should try to contain the attack and any damage that may be caused by a phishing attack. They should change any potentially compromised passwords, as well as disconnecting the affected device if need be. They should also try to run malware scans and possibly be on the lookout for identity theft. Some of these things will be done in tandem. Other things will need to be done over the long haul multiple times, but they should all be done to ensure any mitigation against a phishing attack. That's great. And I know this is just the first of many future conversations about this. So, Ashley, with that, we truly appreciate you taking the time to teach all of us about how to recognize and report phishing today. Uh, and how we can take the meaningful steps to secure our world. Now that you've heard it, uh, you know, a bit more uh, from our national cybersecurity uh, challenges and the work being done among government and private industry to help keep everyone safe, I have a request of all of you on behalf of CISA. Please help us protect and secure our critical infrastructure by joining the team effort and raise awareness and spread the word that cybersecurity is for everyone. It's all about the people. Now, we offer many tools and resources at CISA.gov. That's our website for organizations and individuals to participate in Cybersecurity Awareness Month, maybe to create your own campaigns, or simply share the information with your friends and neighbors. Now, we're asking everyone to join the online conversation about Cybersecurity Awareness Month via social media platforms, using the hashtags SecureOurWorld and Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Even better, join the global conversation by sharing Cybersecurity Awareness Month messages among your personal and professional networks. Now help spread the word in your communities by passing on cybersecurity tips to friends, families, coworkers, everyone, and show them how easy it is to improve their own cybersecurity and stay safe online. Now your efforts will help strengthen the national cyber defenses and create a safer and more secure cyber ecosystem for everyone. Now again, a big thank you goes out to all of you for celebrating with us the 20th Annual Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Please join us for the last webinar in this series, which will cover the importance of keeping your software up to date. You can sign up the same way you did through this Eventbrite link. And if you have any questions or would like to access our resources, please visit cisa.gov forward slash secure our world. Now let's all work together and secure our world.